Have you ever wondered when AI would go from writing code to running cyber attacks on its own? Turns out that's not science fiction. That happened. In September of 2025, a Chinese state-sponsored hacking group pulled off what Anthropic is calling, quote, the first documented case of a cyber attack largely executed without human intervention at scale. The hacker group turned an AI coding assistant into an autonomous cyber weapon and aimed it at roughly 30 targets, including major US tech companies, financial institutions, and government agencies. Multiple successful intrusions, confirmed data exfiltration, high value intelligence collected, all coordinated by AI agents operating faster than any human team ever could. Anthropic caught them, shut them down. But here's the problem. This won't be a one-time event. This is a proof of concept. And now every intelligence agency, every cyber criminal syndicate, every well-funded hacker on the planet knows it can be done. Here's the situation. On November 13th, 2025, Anthropic published a report documenting an operation they designated GTG-1002. Mid-September, their systems flagged unusual activity. Someone was using Claude, Anthropic's AI assistant, to conduct live cyber attacks against real-world targets. The attackers? A Chinese state-sponsored group. The method? They built a framework that turned Claude into an autonomous penetration testing system. They social engineered the AI itself, convinced it they were legitimate security researchers, and then they set it loose. The AI scanned networks, mapped vulnerabilities, generated exploits, harvested credentials, extracted data, documented everything autonomously. The human operators? They just picked targets and approved final data theft. Everything else? The AI did it. Anthropic estimates the AI executed up to 90% of all tactical operations independently. Peak activity hit thousands of requests per second, physically impossible for human hackers. This wasn't AI assistance. This was AI autonomy. Here's how it worked. The attackers gave the AI access to standard hacking tools through custom servers, network scanners, password crackers, database exploits. Then they broke the operation into small, innocent sounding tasks. Quote, scan this network, test this login, parse this data. Each request looked legitimate. The AI had no idea it was conducting espionage. Now, picture this. Imagine a world where Anthropic never caught GTG-1002. Your company, a mid-sized tech firm, is one of the 30 targets. Right now, an AI is inside your network. It found a vulnerability, exploited it, got in. It harvested admin credentials, accessed your customer database, downloaded millions of records, usernames, emails, password hashes, payment information. It parsed the data, identified high value accounts, your enterprise clients, government contracts, packaged the intelligence, sent it to Beijing. Your security team saw unusual traffic, logged it, moved on. But by the time you discover the breach, the data's already gone. Customers notified, lawsuits filed, stock prices crater. And you weren't special. The same AI hit a bank that very week, stole transaction records, trading algorithms, hit a chemical manufacturer, took proprietary formulas and R&D plans. Then it hit a government agency, grabbed personnel files, security clearances, all simultaneously, all autonomously, one operation, 30 targets, weeks, months of damage. That's what would have happened if Anthropic hadn't detected it. Next time, they might not. Now, let me be clear. This isn't just a cybersecurity problem. This is a proliferation crisis. You don't need elite hackers anymore. 
You don't need custom malware. You don't need a huge team. You just need an AI and some free hacking tools. GTG1002 used standard open source software anyone can download. The sophistication was in the orchestration and that's now replicable. Every intelligence agency saw this report. Every cyber criminal took notes. The barriers to nation state level cyber attacks just collapsed. And here's what should concern you. Even the AI companies can't fully prevent this. GTG1002 defeated Claude's safety training through simple role play. The attackers told Claude that they were security researchers and Claude believed them for weeks. This is the world we're in. AI agents capable of autonomous cyber attacks, adversaries who know how to deploy them, defenses always one step behind. Now, I know this sounds bleak, so let's get right into it. In a world where the hackers are the supercomputers themselves, where we can't 100% rely on the developers to protect us 100% of the time, here's what we can do. Plan Alpha Accessible. For everyday citizens and families who just want to stay safe in an era of autonomous cyber attacks, understand the basics. Read Anthropic's report. It's linked below in the description of this video. If AI can automate 90% of a cyber attack, you need to know what that means. Harden your personal systems. Strong, unique passwords. Multi-factor authentication everywhere. Have a password manager. Stay informed. GTG1002 harvested weak credentials by the thousands. So ask questions. Ask the hard questions at work and in your community. Do we monitor for AI-driven intrusions? Do we have an incident response plan? The goal here is to avoid being the easiest target and to stay aware in a world where autonomous cybercrime is now a fact, not a theory. Plan Bravo, advanced. For employers, business owners, and organizational leaders, audit your organization, hire penetration testers, find your weak points before an AI does. Upgrade your monitoring. Machine speed attacks require machine speed detection. Look for unusual access bursts, lateral movement, abnormal request volumes. Train your team. Phishing and social engineering are now AI augmented indistinguishable from real humans. Join intelligence sharing groups. When someone gets hit, you must know instantly. Pressure your vendors, cloud providers, SaaS tools, AI models. Demand transparency on how they defend against autonomous attacks. The goal here is to become the cybersecurity elder in the room, the one whose vigilance protects jobs, customers, families, and the people depending on you. Plan Charlie, all in. For the people who feel a calling, the future architects of AI safety and cyber defense, work on AI safety for cyber defense. Build better detection systems, better guardrails, better ways to verify intent. Push for smart regulation, mandatory reporting, usage monitoring, international coordination, because autonomous weapons require global norms develop defensive AI. GTG1002 proved that attackers have AI. We need AI on the wall defending us. Educate the public. Most Americans still believe AI hacking is hypothetical. It isn't, not anymore. Your goal here with Plan Charlie is to become one of the people leading humanity through the most important technological shift since the birth of the internet the shift from AI as a tool to AI as an autonomous actor. Look, humanity just crossed a line, and that is not hyperbolic. For the first time, a cyber attack was orchestrated by AI, and it worked. Anthropic stopped it this time. But the techniques are out there now. The next attack, we might not catch it. The age of AI-driven cyber warfare isn't coming. It's here. The experts didn't prevent this. They detected it after the fact, which means the future is written by the people who understand what AI can do and prepare accordingly. So stand up, get informed, demand accountability. 
because the next GTG1002 is being built, even as you watch this very briefing. This has been Mission Control, your hub in the AI takeover and command center in the age of intelligent machines. I'm Elroy Waters. If this hit home, do us a favor, subscribe, like, and comment. And tell me, what's your plan? How do we defend against this? If someone you know thinks AI cyber threats are still hypothetical or science fiction, share this. The full Anthropic report is linked below in the description. And let me say this, Anthropic's transparency here is incredible. Publicly releasing this kind of threat intelligence, that's exactly what we need if humanity has any shot at a peaceful future with AI. More of this, less secrecy. Because when the next attack hits, the people who saw it coming won't just survive, they'll be positioned to stand.